it's Epic here, and today I got a little tutorial on how to create some nice sha um, shadows on the floor in Cinema 4D. And no, this isn't a Lightroom too, so it's it's sort of cool. So I'll get I'll show you how it goes. Um, basically, you can create like realistic lighting on objects, and then create some nice shadows. That's basically what the tutorial is about. So let's get started. I I just showed you what it's gonna look like as the end product. So here, file new. Okay, so what you want to create first is a nice, um, nice solid, what do you call it, uh, floor. Make the floor, and then you want to create a background as well. My bad, wrong thing. Get out. Okay, background. I'm going to try making this as fast as possible. Floor, you want to click on floor, right-click, Cinema 4D tags, and compositing. And in compositing, you want to take off self-shadowing, and you want to click compositing background. Now you want to go to your render settings. Render settings, you can also access them right here. Uh, change your render settings to whatever you want. I'm going to leave that as, as it is right now at this point. Um, Anti-aliasing. So you want to go to effect and turn on ambient inclusion and effect and turn on, um, what do you call it, global illumination. There it is. Now it just exit out. Okay, so now you basically got that down. Now just bring in any object, I'm going to put the sphere in, put the sphere in, and this is what it's going to look like at this point. I'll just show you. It's going to basically be a white um, ground and the shadow and just the black ball. Uh, that sounded so racist, I'm sorry guys. The black ball, okay, whatever. Okay, so um, now, okay, let's get some colors in. So here's for the ball, the color for the ball, I'm just going to make it... Uh, bright green uh... this way like that and for the reflection bring down the reflection don't turn it on in the first place and texture you want to put as fresnel which works best for this just everything else like um... like uh... gradient and color just doesn't show up as well as fresnel does and you just want to put it at like twenty five percent brightness and twenty five percent um, mixed strength for uh, Fresnel. And exit out, pull that onto your object, and this is what it's going to look like at this point. You're going to see a difference, but you'll see what I mean. It's not going to be much of a difference. That's where the lighting comes in. Okay, you see? See, it's only black right now. That's because there's no lighting going on. There's no light that's reflecting onto the object that's making the color show. And you, as we all know, light, it to show, for color to be visible, you need to have light. So what I'm going to do now is create a, f uh, no. You can, okay, there's two options here. You can create a light if you want to, but I'm going to make something that looks cool. So I'm going to create a little plane, make the plane smaller, put it up a little. Oh, I'm sorry for the background noise. That's my dad and my sister screwing around. I don't know, they're laughing about something. Okay, and then create new material. Turn on the color, make it white. Reflect. Okay, color, make it white. Reflection. Also want to make it white. I mean, not reflection. Luminous. Lum. Turn on. Forget about reflection. Turn on luminance. Make that white. Brightness at three hundred percent. You can make it lower if you want. It doesn't really matter. Oh, three hundred and three hundred percent. Now drag that onto your little plane. Now you're gonna see what it looks like now. So that plane is going to create some light that's falling onto your object. So it's going to look like, and you'll see in a sec once this renders. It's going to create your. It's going to create the color. You see that? See the color? Now, if you want to, you can uh, use a cloner object and create more of these little planes because. I personally, it, once, once, it, once, when there's more planes, it just makes it look better. I mean, not better, but like more. You'll see. I guess you'll see. Uh, separate these a little. Now look. You can see a much bigger difference. You can already see that it's already brighter. That's just by looking at that. See. The more planes, the more luminance you have, the brighter it's going to be, the more shine on your object. And as you can see, everything reflects, and there's, like I said, with the um, 
with the compositing tag, it creates a little shadow on the floor. And the floor and the background always match. And that also, the more planes you have and the brighter luminance and the closer it is to the object, it's going to create more of a... Um, more of a brightness and it's gonna actually show the color as you can see now it looks more like the color than it did the previous render and if you want you can do this um, go to cloner object move these things a little closer and you'll see it's even brighter this time yeah you can already see the you can already see that but just I'll, I'll show you the render I guess that's sort of the same brightness, but you've got you guys hopefully have got the concept. Basically, it's how to create these little shadows on the ground, and that works for all objects. So all objects will create that shadow as long as you do what I told you: the compositing background on the floor. I mean, the compositing tag on the floor and the background, and that's basically for the shadow. And then for colors, you want to use your reflection, and you want to create a little um, what do you call it? luminance color for planes or whatever if you want to use light you can I'll show you what it looks like with light but it's just not gonna look as great that's all I'm gonna say it's just not gonna look that great um, this is what it's gonna look like with light personally I haven't tried it with light I'm just assuming it's not gonna look that great so I guess we'll see Yeah, it's not that bad. It just doesn't. It's just not as bright with light, I guess. But um, same concept, guys. You guys get the point. Um, get that thing, the self shadowing on the background, and hopefully you got that down. And then for this, you need reflections and you need luminance, basically. So that's basically how to um get self shadowing. And you don't need um what do you call it? Uh, light rooms for this. So it makes it much easier. Instead of using light rooms, you can just make it plain simple. Because light rooms, they take a lot more effort to make if you're willing to make them. So this is an easy alternative. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, guys. And hopefully Chrome Designs uploads this video. So um, basically cheers to him. And hopefully if he does, that'd be awesome. And hopefully we'll get more views, subscribers. Thanks, guys.